welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be rendering bacon fat. So uh, my husband and I, we like the really thick cuts of bacon and as you would know, they generate a lot of grease and uh, the grease, I feel like once it cools, it's such a nice creamy consistency and I'm like, you know, this would be great for making soap. So um, I had been holding on to my grease reserves and uh, been putting them in this jar here as I make the bacon and um, believe it or not this bunch that I have here is actually um, maybe uh, 10 pieces of that bacon that <laughs> so <laughs> that's a lot of fat um, we also cook our eggs in it so this particular batch of fat has little egg pieces in it so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding the fat to the pan and in order to make this suitable for making soap we have to go through the process of rendering it to get all those bits and pieces out like the egg pieces and any kind of burnt pieces that fell to the bottom of the grease just kind of intermixed with it. So um, <clears throat> I didn't want to waste any so I'm really scraping it out of here. But uh, basically what you got to do here is add your fat to the pan and you're going to boil it with some water. Um, the water amount isn't really crucial. Um, it's just as a carrier of sorts to kind of create an emulsified um, solution of fat and water. Um, so just add about twice as much water as you have fat, just, you know, for good measure. But since um, I have a gas flame, I got to be really careful about what I put what vessel I put this in because I definitely don't want this to boil over or splash and create a kitchen fire. So I, I made sure that my pan was big enough to hold everything that I, I have. I've sped up this video just a little bit because this is kind of a long process, but you can see here that the fat is mixing with the oils and it's boiling. And as it boils, it kind of emulsifies. And uh, this is gonna go on for about 10 minutes. can't emphasize the importance enough how safe you have to be when handling this stuff because it is hot grease. So allow your emulsified solution to cool and uh, what will happen is you'll get that uh, layer of grease on top of your oil and just skim that grease off and we're going to repeat this process a couple times because every time um, we put the grease in there and then add the water. The water acts as kind of like it draws the impurities out of the grease. So we're, we're in essence, rendering this fat so that it's as pure as we could possibly get it. So um, here, um, just redoing it and redoing it and redoing it. And ultimately, um, I think I did this about four or five times before I was finally satisfied with the amount of um, purity that this fat had. All right, so <clears throat> I actually, here's the inside of my fridge, sorry for the shaky movement, but this here is the final product of that grease. Um, I put it in this thing and put it in the fridge, but see how like nice and white that is relative to what I started with? And there's nothing, there's no like particles at the bottom. Well, there may be a couple, but I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty clean. Um, I went through this process ultimately five times. You can see that. So this 
is nice and firm bacon fat. But I had this in the fridge too, so if it was just sitting out on the counter, it'd be a little bit more mushy. But um, yeah, so here's the final product. All right, guys, sorry for the weird angle here. It's the best lighting I could get right now. Um, but anyway, so that's it for the rendering bacon fat. Um, I will probably make a video actually using that baking fat, bacon fat, making a batch of soap. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, just click on my portrait and, um, you know, peruse my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and I will see you next time. Bye.